Hi, my name's Eleanor Bell. I'm a lighting designer, a light artist, and a fully qualified electrician. And this is Lightbulb Moments. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about color temperature. And by that, I mean the different colors of white light. Because who knew there were so many different colors of white? But this is something I get asked about all the time. How do I achieve that lovely warm glow for the evening in my living room? Or how do I achieve a whiter light for me to be able to read by? So the importance of colour temperature cannot be underestimated because not only has it the power to change the ambience of a space, but it also affects our well-being and our body clock. Colour temperature is the variations in the white light and is measured in degrees Kelvin, which is written as K. So these changes in temperature mimic the varying colours of daylight throughout the day. For example, at uh, 6000 Kelvin is similar to daylight at midday, a cool blue white. And then this goes right down to 2000 Kelvin, which is a warm yellow orange light similar to sunset or candlelight or firelight. Our experience of different colours of white light is not just visual, it also has an impact on our well-being and our body clock. For example, it's scientifically proven that too much uh, blue-rich white light, for example, 4,000, 6,000 Kelvin, if viewed in the evening, can have a negative impact on our performance, metabolic function and immune response because it suppresses our melatonin production. So variations in colour temperature are best used at specific times of the day. For example, the cooler whites are great in the daytime in an office because they enhance productivity, whereas the warmer colour temperatures are better in the evening because they relax you and prepare your body for sleep. So when you're choosing the colour temperature, the questions to ask yourself are, what room is it, what time of day, and um, what ambience am I trying to create? So I'm now going to demonstrate this here in my studio. So first of all, I'm going to change the colour temperature to 2700 Kelvin. And you can see it's a lovely warm glow. Now the brightness hasn't changed, it's the same brightness, it's just the different colour white. And this is great for domestic environments because it's a lovely warm white, it's known as extra warm white. It's great in living rooms and bedrooms because it relaxes you and helps you unwind at the end of the day. So now I'm going to change the colour temperature to 4000 Kelvin. And this is fantastic for offices and places where you want to be alert and productive because it stimulates the system. And this white is known as natural white or often you'll see it written on packaging as cool white. But next I'm going to change it to 6000 Kelvin which is a very extreme blue rich white light. And I would only recommend this for very specific functions, for example, artwork and needlework, and where you need to see true colour as if it's in daylight. So changing it back to 4000 Kelvin. Now, now the one thing to remember with this, whatever you choose, stick with one colour temperature throughout the scheme. Because if you have differences, say a light bulb which is 3000K and another one which is 4000K, these differences are really jarring. And the thing with lighting is we notice bad lighting. We don't actually notice good lighting. What you want to be looking at is the room rather than the light sources. And if it's all the same colour temperature, that's where your focus will be. So in conclusion, use cooler whites to be productive, warmer whites to relax, and make sure you stick with one colour temperature throughout the scheme. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. I've got plenty more videos below and I'll see you next time.